You're watching a P-Rob Media production. What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now today, today is my cheat day. And like every cheat day, I try to put a little healthy twist to it. So what I did was I made some amazing nachos. Everything was made from scratch, from the meat substitute, from the cheese. So you're gonna get all of that in the video. But before I get into all of that, if you are new to this channel, let me be the first to say welcome to the Diabetes family. And also, please make sure that you like, you subscribe, and click the bell so you know every time I drop a brand new video, which is every week. So back to the video, I made some amazing vegan nachos. These are the best vegan nachos that I've probably made in a long time. Like I really put my foot in it. Don't worry about it, that's an old, old term. You know what I'm saying? But I really did my thing on these nachos. Oh, and just to let you know, the shirt that I'm wearing, the eat good, live good, feel good shirt, check it out. I will leave the link below on where you can get it. I'm dropping brand new merchandise for you guys to wear. So it's finally happening, people. So make sure you guys go down in the link and check that link out and get you a shirt. I don't know if you guys caught this video, but I did a video after my fast and it was my first meal after my fast. And they were nachos and they were good, but I was critiquing them and I felt that I can put my own little twist to it. But anyway, with all that being said, I want you guys to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya boy. Roll the intro. Okay, Diabetes family, welcome back, welcome back. So basically what we're doing is we're grabbing our food processor and we're first going to add our mushrooms. Now this is, what we're doing is we're making our meat replacement. And I know when you think of meat replacement, you definitely don't think of mushrooms, but this is actually going to work, trust me. And what I'm doing is I'm just um, pulsating and making sure like it doesn't go on full blast so it turns it into mush. Once I get the consistency that I'm looking for, I'm going to add my dried walnuts. Now the dried walnuts is going to give it a crumbly type of consistency. So some people, they will soak their walnuts. I don't soak the walnuts because I don't want this mushy mess, if that makes sense. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my spatula and I'm just pushing all the excess into the middle and then I'm going to do the process over again, making sure everything gets fully blended. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of cumin. I'm going to add another tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and then I'm gonna add another tablespoon of chili powder. I'm gonna do another tablespoon of oregano. Another tablespoon of garlic powder. And a half a tablespoon of onion salt. Then I'm going to add this wonderful blend, this garlic herb blend into the pot. I'm doing about two tablespoons of it. And then I'm going, once I have all the seasoning that I need, I'm going to put it in and then I'm going to blend it. Just enough so all the seasonings and what is in this pot is going to be nicely infused. Once everything is done, I'm going to pop it off and set it to the side and get ready to cook this mixture.
So we're going to properly oil our, our pan. Now I had made a mistake. The batch that I made was too big for the pan that I'm using. So I did have to transfer later on into the video, but you know, basically what we're going, what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to, to get that ground beef crumbled look. So I'm just taking my, my spatula and I'm just breaking everything up. Now this pan is basically going to help with drying out as much as possible um, this meat substitute mixture. Now you're gonna have to work for this, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be like opening a, a package and it's done, but you know, the consistency should look something like this. After I transferred it into a bigger pan, it just gave me more real estate to work with as far as you know, airing everything out. And this is the result that you're looking for. Once we got done cooking the meat, we're going to make our cheese. Now, I just got done boiling some, some cashews, and then I'm going to add some traditional yeast to the pot. Now, I am i don't know about you, but I'm pretty generous when it comes to the traditional yeast. I wanna make this Make sure this is super cheesy and I want this to overpower the cashew sweetness. And then I'm going to add some of this taco blend mixture. And this is going to kind of spice the cheese up a little bit. It's not going to be super spicy, but it's going to give it that little hint. And now I'm going to add about about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now what I didn't show on this video is I added some salt and I added some pepper. So make sure you salt and pepper to taste. You're gonna add one stick, half of stick of butter, and then you're going to add your plant-based milk, whatever you want to use. Once all the ingredients are inside, we're set to blend this. This is how quick and easy you can make this, this cheese. You don't no longer have to buy this cheese in store. You can make it at home and it's cheaper and you'll get a lot more. So you're welcome. Now that we have the meat and we have the cheese done, we are going to dress up our nachos. This is my favorite part. We're going to layer by layer add our i like to start off with the liquid cheese and then i go with my ground beef substitute right and then i use vegan cheese to go on top of that and then i just keep on repeating this now this method i like to make sure that every single chip gets touched i don't know about you but i've been to many places and there always has one or you know, a few nachos that are just dry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna make sure everything is touched by all these, these ingredients. Trust me, it works out perfectly this way. So as I go layer by layer, I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, but there's always one other step that we have to do. Once we, once we build our nachos up, we're gonna put this into the oven on 350 and we're gonna put it for like 12 to 15 minutes. Now, I personally don't like to put like my my vegetables or anything on top of it when I go into the oven. I like to save that. I like to have my my nachos with with, you know, fresh fresh vegetables. You know, like the pico de gallo, the onions, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these nachos are starting to come together right now. You know what I'm saying? They are coming together. And no, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing by myself. Can you can you believe this this ground beef substitute mixture looks like ground beef? Like you would never believe that this was walnuts and and mushrooms. You know what I mean? Like that's how amazing this is. Like going plant based. Since I've gone plant based, like I've gotten so creative with with these different types of recipes. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to retrain my mind on, you know, what was good, what flavors were good, what textures were good. And, you know, I mean, look at it now. It's it's all coming together. 
You know what I'm saying? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what your nachos should look like before it goes in the oven. So we're gonna stick in the oven again, 350, 12 to 15 minutes. And voila, just like that, we are ready to dress this bad boy up with our fresh produce. So I like to start off with my green onions. I don't know about you, but I love, love the taste of green onions. They are amazing. So now that we have our fresh green onions on our nachos, we are going to put our fresh pico de gallo on these nachos. Now, I didn't film myself doing the fresh pico de gallo. Well, I did. I just have done so many videos of me actually making the pico de gallo that you guys can check out and you guys can get in one on one instruction on how to make it. And then I am going to use my vegan sour cream. And ladies and gentlemen, these nachos are coming together quite nicely. I'm super happy on how this turned out. It tasted amazing. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was so happy on how these turned out. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you guys don't make this, I, I don't know what's wrong with y'all because like this is this is it you can do this on a game night you can do this well it's father's day today so you can make this for father's day but anyways i want to thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time and watching my video you guys could be anywhere in the world but today you decided to be right here with me and for that i thank you and for all you fathers out there, I want to wish you guys a happy Father's Day. And also, if you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Make sure you guys click the, click the link below and pick up a shirt. It helps me and it helps my channel. So, holla at your boy. Peace.